new show coming on right now. Let's check it out. See how it is. Baltimore. This is Pastor K hey, Pastor of K. Restoring Family Life City of Hope. This is the inaugural day of this program. I call it the Light of Truth. Uh, first, before I introduce my distinguished guest, uh, I would like to set some ground rules. We don't all look alike, think alike, dress alike. And someone, for me, ought to tell God, thank you for that. Amen. But I say this because some views that may be expressed on this program may conflict with your belief system and vice versa. But it is my intention to respect your God-given right Amen. to express your concepts of life. And the same apply to me. Please be respectful in your comments as I shall be in my response to yours. Wow. We as a community yes. must stop condemning each other. More express, especially those who are attempting to change the tra tragic dynamics that we see in our community. Well, that being said, uh -oh. it is with great honor yes. that I present to you unequivocally someone that's more known than myself, Miss Daphne Austin. And before I bring her on, I'm just going to allow her uh, to review or give me an update, review, talk to me mm. about Miss Daphne Austin, how you came to be in the public view. Wow. Good morning, Pastor Kay, and congratulations on your Thank new you. show. And I feel so honored to be new your first show. guest. Thank that you. means wow. so much to me. Uh, that my voice can finally be heard on the airways and all, because when you try to do good for the community, you know, people want you to shut up and be quiet. And people will avoid they will make loud noises so your voice can't be heard. This is true. Mm -hmm. Because the condition of our people now is nobody don't want to do good anymore. Wow. And when they see good, they they blab about good. They it just we're so consumed with junk in our systems and our souls and all that we don't even recognize good behavior mm -hmm. and anymore. So I just thank you for allowing me to come share. It's a blessing. Yes. Uh um before I became a mother of a homicide victim, yes, I always had a love for mankind. Okay. My neighborhood, my community, my family. I, um, I just, it was always in me that I wanted to see the better of my people, any people. It wasn't a race thing, any people. I just always love people and always want to see if I can help them. Mm -hmm. And the way I think God prepared me for what was coming in my life, which was the homicide of my son, Tariq Austin. Okay. Um, I got a little cold today, so my voice Take your time. Is long. Take your time. And let's just say the moment, because there was a moment when I received that phone call that my son was shot. It's a moment that I recall every day. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that phone call. I can tell you the minute. I can tell you what I had on, where I was at in my house. I can tell you. Everything from that moment, and it's still with me to this day, and it's been almost eight and a half years. Okay. And so doing that, I said, Lord, what is it that you would have me to do with this situation? Because I can't do this by myself. Matter of fact, come get me too. I can't do this. I understand it. Why in the world would you give me such a heavy burden mm -hmm. when I'm out here trying to, to do your will and your way? Mm -hmm. Why would you give me this heavy burden? And I want justice for my son. I want a court case. If I don't get a court case, I want street justice. I want something. I want the person that did this to my son. Something needs to happen. I want to see it happen now because I'm taught that, you know, you go to jail for murdering somebody well, or displaying bad behavior. There's punishment to bad behavior. But that's not so because we do not 
disagree with bad behavior anymore, especially the black community. This stuff has become so profound that we allow this stuff to come into our community and take over. Even at the death of our youth, we still will not fight against bad behavior. This is what my vo I like to use my voice and always the voice that God gave me because it's only him speaking through me. Because I don't have my own strength. I stay with his strength every day. That my son will not die of me. No, not that yeah. Guy, you know one of the things that you say in a car. How you doing, boss man? <laughs> Hi y'all. I'm listening to the morning show. Community. Sometimes we do feel alone. Right. And we feel we're 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 still. Until next time, folks. Part two. Don't test that down. Little did you know that eight years ago I came here to this city from Chicago. Oh, wow. Okay. And so I heard about you. So even though it took eight years for me to say yes to the will of God, yeah. there, I, there are many of us out here in the community that do know right from wrong, do, are triggered of what you're seeing. We just need more voices. Yes, we you just need career. more collective uh, efforts. Um, to assist Where are you, you going at? Uh, 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 26 or 4 Charlie. 26 or 4. I think this is the 